good fish on your small rod, you got a good fish on your small rod. Open his mouth, can read. Oh. What the heck? Alright guys, we're back out in the kayak today. I bumped up some real fellas. Tommy, jump in mind there too now man. You're original bush nice, man. Nice man. And yeah, the crazy Simon. kayak man. Simon. <laughs> no, I like I'll show you a quick, 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 quick video of this, this kayak. Bad, bad. This is the baddest fish kayak yeah, I ever see. Bad. In the local waters. Yeah, in local waters. Still testing it out, but when you in our gear, I'll show you go blaze some fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to head out. I go in shallow. do something. Shallow, shallow. We get something, I'll make some fish and chips. So we'll see how it goes. I might stay close to shore, but them fellas might go out a little bit. But I fall over today, I have people to rescue me. We'll see how it goes. Alright, guys, so we just launched out to meet up Tommy from Tom Outlaws Bushman. He has a channel on YouTube as well. Hell, <laughs> nice videos, you can check him out. Those two guys out there. I'm not even reaching that far because I've seen some little rollers already. And last time when I was fishing, my partner, Master Z. The mouse is actually too far to catch the karanga plane. And that's the fish I really want to catch finally. I mean the red fish of course. But if I could get a karanga plane. I'd love that. So when I reach out, go back on the camera. See if we get some fish. If I catch anything to cook, I'll try a different recipe today. So hopefully we are successful. Tiny water ain't looking so nice today. But Let's see how it goes. Alright guys, when my first bite on the small rod, the water is not that nice this morning. Choppy early boy. Well I kinda come out kinda late to it, but get a nice little bite on the rod, I should have taken but was a delayed reaction. Hopefully we still have a piece of bait on him. Mm hmm still in the blend small. <laughs> Got him. Not very big. Open is not catfish. What? <laughs> Wrong kind of fish totally. Call it a jamet. Some kind of gobi. Some real big rollers here, guys. Yeah. So let's pull up my lines, watching it. Anchor still out. And that's because I ship fast or what? But some serious rollers. Now coming back down. Good fish on the small rod, guys. Good fish on the small rod. Open is not stingray. It's real big. You drag on this thing, don't work it at all. Please don't be a stingray. Be a karanga pulling. African pompano. Swimming on top of the water. What the hell is this way? Could be occurring a plane. You know? Take my time. Game up slowly but surely. Let's see where it is. Do it at least see where it is. Not fighting like a stingray. Swimming on top of the water. Digging down. What the hell is that one? Yes, African Pompano, carrying a plane. Target species, guys. Not a very big one, but this fish is pulled real hard. I'm eating him, no matter what size he is. Whoa. Oh, yes, finally. 
Oh, there's one of them targeting. Yes. Check this fish, guys. He swallowed the hook too, so wasn't getting released. Check at that fish. That is my target species today. And we have got one. Yes. Yeah, you swallowed the hook boy, so he will not survive anyway. Yes, guys, check it out, check it out. Wonderful. Check it out, guys. Awesome fish. Nice back on the catch. And I catch one. Nice. All right, guys. Those fish travel in schools. So, while I was took a while to take him out, but I was throwing some shrimp overboard in the interim. I just dropped back my line. I don't have any stringer because he swallowed the hook, so the time I took him out, he was gone. What the hell is this one? Ugh. Wrong species, bro. Excited, guys. I'm excited because, like I say, those fish travel in schools. This fish also, so I hope he don't bring heat back now. Come I don't have time for you. I need to go back over there. Hey, guys. I don't know if you can recall that these species I mentioned when I was paddling out. I wanted to target today. Really wanted to catch one of them. So I put a shrimp on the running line here too because that's what I want to take. And the target species taking it. You know, you have to try them again. I just keep trying to trim for a couple of throws on the running line and we'll go back to the Joshua but I'd love to catch our next African pump I want to get a bigger one if I catch one the same size again you know he might get to go back once he down get hooked as bad as that last one so we'll see how it goes let me try to shrimp out a little bit Whoa, whoa. Hopefully this is not a catfish. I'm pulling it as hard as the last African pompano was yet. That one swim all over. This one could be a cat. Oh no. Oh, oh. Yeah boy, damn we find the catfish. We don't want that at all. Can't move just yet. Because we just caught that African pompano. Alright, guys, bad news. This damn chuff chuff. Come. I keep going to take my hook. On the camera because when I was taking them out, the blue line get a little touch, but like the fish just touch it and go on. Damn boy, look at that chop chop in boy. Wicked boy dog. To make over a leader, I'll just to put a hook on one of these. That is the question. Alright guys, just change this to a knocker rig with a strip of Joshua took off. What the heck? A nice snook boy. And he swallowed too, boy. Fat snook boy. Oh, this is food. That's an unexpected catch. What the hell? We don't know it here. Check it out, a fat snook. About 14 inch fat snook. Oh, yes, he can go on his stringer. Check him out. He, yes, he swallows, so he would not survive. But has got eaten, it's a fat snook anyway. So, I'm on his stringer. Make makeshift stringer, or get a makeshift stringer. Alright guys, after a little period of inactivity, you now again back a little bite on the small rod. I guess some bites on the caster. Like a nice take and run, but drop it. That was it, the rod now get a little too touch. Throw back all the big rod too with a strip. So we have about, I'd say half an hour on the water again. We get one more fish, we get a nice mixed bag. Pompano, snook, we get reds to close off. Can't complain at all. I'm going to grow it. Throw them catfish on them from the back. 
Can I ease off all the way? Oh, God, you find the lock. El Gato, guys. Bushman! Any action out there? Yeah, real catfish boy. Yeah, boy, real catfish boy. Huh? I pull up a stingray there, boy. On the kayak, boy? I pull up the stingray and the stingray. Well, I'm, I'm trying to reach out that. Boy, the stingray turn around and face the barb at me, boy. Wait! I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it last second. Once I hook a stingray on the kayak, I cut in a line one time. Boy, I cut a line quick, boy. That thing turn around and that thing is like to cut it. That's why I go. Yeah, they can't find this stretch. Yeah, 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 boy. Like that rain bring them out, boy. You got anything else out there? Carandras, small. But not it. They pull salmon. Salmon? Yeah, good size, they say. Nice man. You pull a snook too. Yeah, I pull a snook here. Small or big, what size? Uh, small to medium. Right. You're on the stringer right now. Right. And I pull a little pump on now. Right. But real catfish, boy. Uh, the African pampano is the only long fin. Oh, that kind of pull? Yeah. What are you going to do? You pull a normal carangas? What my partner snook here? We pull a snook on a cut bit? Yeah, cut bit. Uh, I never even expect a snook to be here. Oh, wait now. When you say people pull one, that size is bigger. Yeah, that's, that's oh, arm. That size. Yeah, that's not the normal snook, that's the fat snook. Oh, that's the fat snook? Yeah. The sword spine don't get big. Sword spine don't get big, the fat don't get so big, the top one don't get so big. The common is get real big. So the sword spine is get about three, four pounds. Max, yeah. Yeah, now you're going to. Fighting like a catfish. Oh, a nice grunt, boy. No way. Is that a blitz? A grunt. All right. Better than catfish. We could take that. A grunt here. Yeah. I want a grunt, man. What red fish? Yeah, they can drag my. Better not be a catfish, you know. That catfish is a good size. Big grunt, boy. Wow. Big grunt. Yeah, boy. Somebody. It's grunt, but some big one, boy. I never see them so big here. Right here. Yeah. Swallow the hook too, boy. Wow. Swallow, God, I go. We making a footage for him. See, you gonna give me some. He's do drone, he's do drone um, videos. Oh. But you say you come on, guys. Whoa! Yeah. Nice. Don't be a catfish now, let me be a good fish on your drone. Hey! Yeah. Karangas, boy. Yeah. Calm down there, buddy.
catch and release carangas on the drone. Real fish in the area now, boy. Tommy, boy, drop your line, boy. Real fish? Yeah, boy, every drop is a different kind of fish right now. You see Ogre again. That's about 400, 450 US. Pa yeah, for basic. Them expensive, but I want to get one, but. It's had the Ma some Mavic. Mavic, Mavic Pro? Yeah. Yeah, um, expensive. yeah it's expensive. Yeah. I always want to get one, but the next time I fly, nothing crash, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> that go hot, boy. Yeah, boy. I get one, but I, I can't fly, I can't start to fly that right now. Yeah, boy. <laughs> it's be nice, so them shots is be real nice, boy. Yeah, <laughs> Don't be a catfish. Don't be a catfish. Lad. Alright guys, so I just came back from kayak fishing. Didn't get a chance to be catching cook by the show. So we're gonna do it now. And the three fish that I caught and I kept, uh, all of them swallowed the hook. That's why I kept them. One was this big size grunt here. And now we throw back that. Just carrying a fling. I was targeting this fish. I always wanted to catch one right here. This one's small, I mean these fish get very big, but again this one swallowed the hook. Um, and I really wanted to catch a fish to cook, so I kept him as the first fish I caught. And then I caught this snook again. And I thought it was a fat snook, but I think it's a sword spine. It's not a common snook, it's not going to get big. Um, and he saw the hook as well. So, this is the guy I'm going to cook up right now. I'm going to make some fish and chips. Quick recipe, quick procedure. So, I had all this stuff um, to cook it up there. And my pan, I'm going to put the chips as well. I had the container, onion, lime, tomato, and some green seasoning from my wife. Fish finish. Um, pan, plates. So, I'll quickly fillet this snook, slice some of the meat, cook it, and show you how we can fish and chips. Alright, guys, so this is the fillet meat, bam, skinless, and almost boneless. We're gonna make a few little chops to make it bonus. Like I said, big rib cage on his swords by and fat snook. Do lose some meat in doing this, but meat to get it bonus. And what I cut off, it doesn't waste, I feed my cats it. 
the 11s. So check it out, lazy fish, let's season it with some all the plus season it. Alright, so lazy fish all cut up. So let that sit for a while. Yeah, so the must be more cut up. Veggies, fish. I'll cook up the fish real fast. Just in some olive oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Så skal vi Chinese Rest in Peace ud. Så tager han to watcher, guys. Så er det jo all the way in Chagaramas. Catching the fish, meeting up with Tommy. Drone footage, finally coming home and cooking the fish. Then we took it away, so I wanted the fresh fish. Let's be just still in the same clothes, smelling like fish. But, we got it done. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Try this recipe. Coast Amp special recipe. So thanks for watching, guys. Keep fishing. Fish on. Come back again. <laughs> this I love fish. Like, you know when I go fish, he's a few weeks ago. Watch him. Watch him. Everybody getting fish deep. Enjoy guys.